Hi everyone, I'm back. When this demo, we will uh, learn how we can integrate the Dropbox OAuth flow. Okay, so how we can authorize the users using the OAuth flow and get their access token and refresh token for our selected scopes. Okay, so I'm going to start. So for the first step of the Dropbox authorization, what you can do just navigate to the developer dot dropbox.com and then just just click on a app console and just click on a create app okay so click on a scope access so here are basically two types of uh, app one is a folder type app and then there is a full dropbox so we are just going with this demo with a full dropbox access okay so we are just naming it Okay, and we are going to create. Okay, so we have created an app. And for further configuration, what we can do, we allow the permissions. Like here, the scopes, which are currently supported by the Dropbox over to okay? So for here account info dot read is by default, and we are only setting the file meta read and the file content read also. So these are the scopes. Okay. So our app is ready. Other tabs are for branding and all this stuff. If you are uh, interested to publish the app on their market marketplace, okay, or store. So from here we get the credentials of our app. Okay. So for, for the OAuth flow, what we can uh, do first we get the first we get the authorization URL. Okay. So we just type Dropbox auth on, on your search engine and navigate to their docs and just scroll down. And now here you have a URL, okay so just copy that and uh, i have already created a simple two endpoints api endpoints one is authorized for dropbox where the user can redirect it to the dropbox then another for the redirected once the user have authorized our app then we will get access to the access code okay so for here i'm what i am doing i'm just creating a helper separate file called dropbox Helper or JS, and I'm here just creating twice return, and I'm just pasting here the redirect URL. Okay, what we can do, we just set that to the multiple lines that we can. Okay that we can see okay so and the second endpoint help of our redirect okay we implement this later but for now i'm just only returning from here simply empty string so for here what we can do we just configure this redirect url so what our redirect URL will be the local host with port 4000 okay and then then api dot api slash dropbox slash redirect okay so that will be our redirect URL so what we can do we must be first add that URL here so http local host 4000 API Dropbox slash redirect. Okay, be sure that there is a no any type of mistake in this. If there is any error or any type of mistake in this redirect URL, then you will be get an error redirect URL error. Okay, let's click on add. So just confirm that this URL is added here. Okay, and now we are just here and replacing that uh, URL with our local host 
4000 APR drop box stage redirect. Okay, so that will be our our redirect URL. And here is our client ID. So we can also get that client ID from here. Okay, so here is the app key. So set that uh, here. Save and we must be set in other parameter access token type offline. So if we add this access token type offline, then we can get the refresh token while we are uh, posting or getting the access token. Okay, when we are going to request to get the access token using the authorized code, if we have authorized the user with the access token type with the offline, then we will get the refresh token also in the response. So that's why I made this okay. So access token type is offline. Okay, so navigate back and just we just click here authorize. Okay, and we must be we must be import our helper here. Okay, drop box helper. And here we say authorize and another is redirect. Okay. Okay, we must we export modules from here. Export rise and direct. Okay, now we have a here. Okay, done. We are just going to. I have already placed a breakpoint and I'm going to run the API. Okay, and then we are going to navigate to the same point. Localhost. Okay, so the, the, there is the something going wrong. API authorized Dropbox. It's double slash. Okay, so go back. Okay, so there is some some error with our entered line. Okay, so what we can do? We just remove this using URL is auto encoding. Save it. Stop. Rerun. Okay, and now just look lost a thousand. So we just we remove this, navigate back. Okay, so you are seeing that we are successfully on, on their authorization page. Okay, so what we can do, we continue and allow. You see, we are here and uh, we have a code, okay? So you're seeing that we have a code. So this is this is the part one, okay? This is the part one where I just successfully got the code from the authorization endpoint using the Dropbox outflow, okay? So in the, in the next part, part two, we will get the access and refresh token using that code, okay? Bye-bye.